Fimli is a very large acute trust now. We have got two acute hospital sites with two very busy A&Es. The Wexham site is just on the outskirts of London, uh, near Slough and Heathrow Airport. So a very busy, very cosmopolitan environment. And then we have the Fimli Park site, which is in Surrey. We also have Heatherwood that we are developing, which is a, a site near Ascot. And there we're going to be building state-of-the-art elective care. I am the professional lead for nurses and midwives within the Trust. I lead the largest workforce and actually I would say probably the workforce that sets the tone for care. We are the only profession that are with patients and women 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and we are the thing that matters most in keeping patients and women safe and keeping them cared for. I love being a nurse. Placing the patient, the person and the carer at the centre of everything we do is very important to me. It is fundamental to every staff who works here at Frimley Health Foundation Trust. Going home, it does make you think, I did something good today. I made something better today. We are committed to excellence, excellence in clinical care and what we are striving to achieve. Teamwork and working together is absolutely the way that we like to behave and do business. But we also know that facing the future is absolutely vital for NH any NHS organisation. We all have to change, adapt and try and make sure that Frimley is an organisation that goes from strength to strength with every challenge that is coming towards us. I think education is really high on the agenda for us here at Frimley Health. I think it's really important that we provide good high quality education to our staff to ensure their development and retention as well. I think in the current climate I think it's you know we're challenged in terms of can we afford education and I think for us as an organisation it's can we afford not to. Since I've been here I've done my apprenticeship, I've got sponsors to do my foundation degree and hopefully, fingers crossed, later on when I'm ready I'll be able to get sponsorship to do my full nursing. So they've been amazing to me. If you show an interest people will push you so you can go on. <laughs>I live like 55 miles away but I've chose to stay here because I love it so much and I just don't feel ready to leave yet because I just wonder if anywhere else will be the same as it is here. Our birthing centre is so great, like it's really modern, it's new, all of our facilities are so great and all the people that work here are so good. We have people in practice that are there just to make sure that you're working as you should be and they are brilliant support. I just feel like any problems I have someone will be able to help me out with that and that's what you want really when you're in a job like this. So having the simulation centre is absolutely vital to people's continuous education and I think what's really important is that um, we allow the staff to learn an extremely safe environment before they go out with patients. The Trust has invested in the simulation service across the board which to me shows not only committed to excellence from the Trust point of view, allowing their staff to grow and be nurtured and allow them to practice in a safe environment but also from the individual staff who want the training. They find this training really good, they find it interesting, they find it dynamic, they're motivated and enthusiastic to undergo it. Everybody wants to try and do their best and, I, and, and that is vital in what we're doing. So the transition uh, for me from student nurse to staff nurse and now sister has been a really enjoyable one. Um, I've been very well supported um, through my perceptionship programme which was for the first year of qualifying which meant I had full support and training 
training to get up to scratch with all my clinical skills and um, getting used to all the paperwork, the hospital policies um, and provided me with basically everything that I needed to provide effective and safe patient care. It's absolutely key that every nurse feels supported with regard to their NMC revalidation requirements. They're supported through the process and actually in order to keep their registration and their professional development that we very much keep education and training at the heart of everything we do. I've been a bank nurse for 13 years now. In that time, you know, I've been able to keep up with all my training needs. All bank nurses have to do revalidation, you know, just like all the permanent nurses on the ward. And I've attended a course on revalidation. I'm very well aware of, you know, what uh, requirements I need to meet and when that Friendly Health will help me to meet those needs. We have opportunities for nurses and midwives that want to work full time. We have opportunities for those that want to work part time. And a vital part of our team is our bank staff who we want to feel included, have fantastic opportunities for training and education, but have the flexibility to work when they would like to work. Just being able to work as a bank nurse, you know, and carry on however little it was for a few years, stopped me having to go back and retrain, which, you know, would have been very difficult for me. For me as a trust, very strong leadership, um, very evident on the wards, they come down to the wards, they have a chat with you, they listen to you, they listen to perhaps what your concerns are um, and try and problem solve. I would have no issue at all about going to senior management if I had any issue. I am privileged to lead such a fantastic motivated team that despite the challenges always strive to look after each other and look after the patients and try to have a bit of fun along the way. Nursing is really my passion, you know. It's a great hospital, it's a great team. We are like a happy family here. We're a great team here. We um, very much value each other. Uh, we work very much together uh, with healthcare assistants and our RNs. Uh, we like to have a lot of social events, as we've had today. We go out a lot and team build. Um, but yeah, we are, uh, we are a great team. We would love to attract nurses that are ambitious, intelligent, really want to develop themselves and as a priority look after women and, and patients and hopefully spend and have a productive career with us. If you're looking for that development opportunity, if you want that family feel of an organisation, if you've got that can-do attitude, we'd love to see you here at Brimley.